doing my bit for Highlanders rugby, just keeping the big man in one piece. <laughs> Welcome to Game Gear Adventures. We just snuck out this morning for a quick fish We're with the guys from Waifati Charters. We're heading away pig hunting tomorrow, so I thought we might try and line a few kingfish up to take south for the boys. So we just kicked off with uh, catching a few live baits now, and then we're going to head out wide to the Rangateras. Without good live baits, she's no go, so uh, we've got a half hour here just trying to uh, fill the bin up and then we'll be right into the uh, kingfish later on. Whoa, how easy is that? Take you, I'm coming, I'm Just loaded up on white baits. We've got uh, some cracking little baits for today. I'd say we'll probably run out of energy well before we run out of bait. So she's been a good haul this morning on the old uh, yellow tail. And now, two hours steam into the Rangateras, chasing big donkey kingfish. Going down with some pinkfish, just drive around, sand out the flick packs of the bait, the, the big red marks hanging around the edges, for the, the big 30 kilo elusive ones we're after. Um, so, yeah, just obviously backing into the tide, fishing quite deep, 130 metres, so it's quite hard to keep the angle on nice and steep so we can target them a bit better. Yeah, hopefully, the boys have gone to the old big dog I've been trying to track down. See the red individual marks coming through now, which is more what I say the individual big kinfish amongst all the bait fish down there. Be one of them bite. Things ain't been quite. Might be just a bit insane. I ain't scared of a little pain. Tell me, tell me, baby, honestly. Do you think there's something wrong with me? Stick around and see how bad a boy can be I'm made of bad, 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 bad At least I know where I come from And you could never First drop Less than five minutes in the water, not even that, two minutes These boys have put us right on the honey hole here I don't know whether this is the 30 kilo donkey that I'm after but uh, <laughs> be a good fish to warm me up anyway. That's the first drop. It's a good fish to wind up on. Time to get a couple of these boys into uh, something a bit more solid. That's not a bad fish to start with. We'll just send this one home now and uh, hopefully he's got some big brothers down there that are hungry today. That's where it runs. I made a After getting 10 minutes in the sim bin for uh, nagging the bottom before, the boys have just tagged me back in. I'm right back where I left off. Might just be waking up now.
come out of the uh, sin bin after hooking the bottom. Had 10 minutes breather and oh, it's almost like an impact player I guess. Straight back into a fish. That's 135 centimetres that one. Certainly gave me a good workout so it might be time to hit the sin bin again and have a breather. Let these old fellas step up and put them back. Thank you mate, thank you. Thanks Brad. Thank you. 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 Thank we bad day's fishing mate. We've got a big trip ahead of us tomorrow so we're going to load up this uh, little bit of this fish and take it down to those southern boys. I don't know whether they get tucker like this down there. I'll claim they do matey but North Island's always better. Last time I was down there they fed me cod and chips. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pooker and Blue Nose will go a hell of a lot better. That's the end of our uh, fishing for today. We're heading home now, we're going to uh, load the dogs up tomorrow and then we've got a bit of a road trip, 22 hours to go for a pig hunt. So, uh, stay tuned. Stopped at the desert road. We're just on our way south to Dunedin and broken the first part of the journey. The sun's just coming up now, so we're just going to whip in and uh, grab a bit of footage as we head south, stretch our legs, and get ready for the last part of the uh, North Island. Morning, Liv. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Good. good drive. Yeah, bloody good drive. Yeah. Long drive. You got these pigs tied to a fence for me? Yeah, definitely. Have yeah. To. Yeah. Well, we're here in time for a quick feed, I guess, and then straight up the hill. Yeah, yeah. We get a bit of tucker in us, and then we we'll head out there and tear into it. What have we got to expect today, mate? Well, hopefully we can get us onto a few pigs. Um, we got up nice and early this morning. Had a good feed, so um, yeah. Hopefully the dogs and and track down a few hogs for us. This is um, young Bailey from uh, Nelson, Ben Edwards breed. So she's uh, she'd be about four and a half years old now, and yeah, she's bloody been a very handy dog. This is young Pride. She's she'd be two and a half years old now. Had her since um, she was a wee pup. Pride, Pride, come this way. We're going to head to that big native face today, Liam. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll going to uh, put the dogs in there and hopefully we can get them onto a few pigs. Started our walk, only five minutes in, and we've found some fresh digging. Straight away, the two dogs with the best noses are gone. So uh, we're just going to duck to the ridge here, have a quick look on the GPS, and try and stay in touch with them. We've got a big native face down below us. Um, plan is to walk along the top here, looking for fresh sign, and trying to cast the dogs off into it. But I think they've made the decision for us. And <laughs> we got here, and they've just done it without us even asking. So it's a sure sign that. Uh, pretty fresh and uh, they've got something to work with so 
We'll hang out here and wait for the bark. That country up there, you know, it's open sort of Matagaro country and it's probably the most ideal place to hunt when you're, you're running sort of bailing dogs and you want to get some good footage. So, you know, you're sort of, when you, when you head up there, you've, you've got high hopes of uh, catching, catching one of those big boys. So, um, you know, and what better place up there is, you know, in that open country, sneaking in on a, on a bale there. There's a black, big black thing that just walked across the track. It's just standing still now. You keep your eye on it, it's gonna move. It looks piggy. It looks very piggy. I'm gonna sneak a dog in and get it on. It's mm. a good pig um, on the face just over here. So we're just gonna sneak these dogs straight in. It hasn't spooked at all yet. It's just sitting up on top of a knob. We've got some tea tree below it, so you know, Liam's keen eyes picked it out. I was uh, spotting trees and branches and all sorts before, but we'll just sneak over now, see if we can't put these uh, dogs straight on it. Yeah. It's got a pit up. Yeah. It is a pig. Yeah, it's a pig on the edge of the grass. It's not a bad pig either. Ran straight down past us. Yeah, sneaky fellow was standing up there, so he's probably sitting there listening to my jokes. <laughs> probably why he ran off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that doggy was right up it, so yeah. hopefully, it's a bit of a downhill stretch here though, so it's not going to be easy for them. It is quite a quite a physical wee hobby, but you know when you when you're hearing your dogs bailing a pig and you you know you're sort of you're running out of breath. Um, you know, it's probably no better encouraging sound than hearing them, you know, bailing a pig and it, it does give you that sort of adrenaline rush and that sort of drive to, you know, I guess probably be where your mates need you to be and that's where they are bailing that pig and it's no different to on the rugby field. We've just got another dog getting there. We've got one dog that's gone 500 metres, one of Liam's dogs and pulled a good pig up. We've got a second dog just getting there. We're going to hear something start fairly soon. And we've got Bear. Bear's uh, Tally and Charlie. She's she's not far either. Here we go. Ready for the Ready? circus. Here's the hunt away. Yep. Two dogs. Should we start moving? Yep, yeah, moving. Let's see where you're going. It's going to be a bit of a where the all black training comes in for him because he's smoking us at the moment. I figured I'd get him on the downhill. I get these little stumpy legs of mine, it'll be a bit quicker. Might not be too far wrong actually. I'm getting pretty bloody close to the dogs. Haven't heard a shot yet, which is good. Just last little stretch. Something's not right up here though. We've got dogs that have gone quiet now. we just come down the cliff here. We heard the uh, dogs bailing on the edge. Liam got there quite quick for us and uh, everything went quiet. And uh, the pigs come off the bluff, probably 30 metres. He's come straight down on the creek. We were worried he was going to bounce and get away. But uh, I think he only bounced once. He's taken the big swan dive. We might have got a nine at the Olympics for that effort, mate. Yeah. Definitely. Hell of a drop. Yeah. So. Jeez, I'm glad the dogs didn't go with him or nah. we might have had three or four carcasses in the creek. Yeah, I'm very glad they didn't. So. Yeah. Yeah, the old bailing was uh, a long distance bail by the time we got there in a hurry and uh, Liam's dog did bloody well, had it on its own for a good 10, 5, 10 minutes before the others got to it. We ended up with three dogs bailing on the edge of the bluff and that pig just walked them along and along until it decided too much pressure and off it went off the side. And uh, not, a, not a good way to go for Mr Porker but the other alternative was a uh, slug in the head so yeah, he's taking the valiant option of uh, diving to his death. Lord of the Rings style. Yeah, pigs hit the rocks, come down through this crack here. He's gone into the river and he hasn't made it. He's got halfway across the river and he's ended up washed down.
slightly bigger pig than what I thought, Liam. We bloody uh, damn near had to abseil to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, a bit of a the old cliff jumper, so yeah. He's got a steep little place that uh, he was parked up on, so good to actually recover him and yeah, yeah. have a pig, pig on the deck. It's a bit of a challenge for us, uh, North Island flatland paddock hunters, mate, have to bloody clamber through this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to get you into a nice one in the paddock, but he was in the paddock at the start, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a bit, a bit more clever than I thought. So. He didn't want to stay there? No, he didn't, so he's yeah. got, a, got a onto a pig coming to a cliff and um, oh, well, this, we got him anyway. So. That's the fun part, we've got to lump him out of here. Yeah. I heard you're good at carrying too. Yeah, I'm bloody deadly mate. It's, it's about all these little stumpy legs are good for, eh? Is bloody bowing out under a good pig. We yeah. might uh, get him gutted out and uh, climb up out of here and see if we can... Might be a bit greedy and see if we can both load up on the way home. Yeah, it'd be good fun. Yeah, awesome. Good, they pick. Play this beast. Straps in. Oh, he's off the ground. What do we get? Nine hundred and one. 101 pound? Yeah. 101 point. Well, yeah, 101. Did you beat me? For a pound. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Having that passion outside of rugby with pig hunting, it, it's massive for when those times are that you can't actually be out there playing. You've, you know, you've still got that to, to fall back on. Having good pig hunting mates that can still take you out, even if you, you are injured and you can't walk the hills as much, it's still you know, something you can do. Well, it's starting to get a bit keen on an afternoon hunt, Liam, but at 30 degrees, I reckon the dog's puffing in the box, it might be time to head into town. Yeah, we've probably had one of the hottest summers here in Dunedin since I've lived here, so, yeah, it's got a bit warm today, so we'll sort of knock it on the head and get into town and, uh, yeah. yeah, chill out for a bit. It's the end of our adventure down here. We've been racing around in the tussock. We got beaten by the heat today. I'm lucky to get out early and uh, nail a good pig this morning. So back into town and then uh, in the car for the big drive. A couple of days travel back with uh, dogs and gear and tow.